Hello everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today we're going to be further exploring uh, operation and settings on the ICOM IC7300. Uh, recently on my channel I've had some questions about uh, how to do certain things with the waterfall uh, band edges. Uh, things like that, so I wanted to uh, go over those items today. Uh, first of all, to get to the uh, waterfall display, uh, if you happen to be, uh, for instance, on this display where you have your uh, frequency and your metering, uh, the easiest way to get there is just to press uh, M-Scope. That'll give you your waterfall display. To make it full screen, uh, and, and this is one of the specific questions that I had, um, you just need to press and hold the M-Scope button, and it'll drop it down to make it full screen. So, on the uh, Spectrum Scope, there are two options, uh, Center and Fixed. Uh, at this moment, uh, we are in the center, which means that our frequency of operation is in the center of our display. <clears throat> and you can see that uh, our span is plus minus 2.5 kilohertz. Uh, if you press the span button, you can cycle through plus minus 5, plus minus 10, plus minus 25, plus minus 50, plus minus 100, plus minus 250, and plus minus 500. So, if you're in uh, some other span than the narrowest span that you have, which is 2.5, if you just press and hold span, it'll reset it back to 2.5. So, the other mode that you have, uh, and I wanted to show, uh, if you change frequency here, you can see that it still stays centered. Let's go back to 39.16. There's a, a really cool uh, series of uh, nets there on 39.16 in the evenings, uh, most nights. Uh, free, uh, free wheelers, uh, tailgaters, uh, so on and so forth, uh, the weather bunch hour. Uh, it's really entertaining. If you're in the uh, south central U.S., uh, there's a good chance you can hear it. Uh, of course, during the winter, uh, there's good coverage uh, to quite a few other places as well. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and change to fixed mode, which fixed mode means it displays a fixed amount of span. So in this case, it's set 3.5 to 4. If you press your edge button, it'll cycle through the other uh, band edges that you have set up. There are three band edges per band uh, in the radio, and they are configurable. So, uh, what you need to do to be able to set them, we'll cover that in just a second, to cycle through them you just press edge and it'll cycle through the different uh, band edges that you have set. So now we're back to 3.5 to 4. Uh, to set these band edges, if you try to do it from fixed mode, it's not going to work. So you have to switch to center mode and then you'll press expand set and in your menu you'll have a fixed edges option. If you go into that, you'll need to select the uh, frequency range for the band that you're operating in. In this case we're in the 80 meter band, so it would be 2 to 6 megahertz. And there are our three band edges that we have defined. And if we wanted to change a band edge, then all that we need to do is press it. Uh, say for instance we wanted to start at 3.5 uh, and go to say 3.55. We would just press what we want to change in our 3.550 and so now we have 3.5 to 3.55 we'll back out of the menus and then we'll go back to fixed mode and we'll cycle through edge to get to what we want to see. Now the reason that you might want to do this, uh, most of the time when I've seen this come up, it's because you have someone that wants to look at a limited amount of span, which you could also do uh, under uh, center, but when you change frequency in center mode and you have a signal up, which right now we're on a dummy load so we're not seeing any signal level, uh, the signal that you're trying to watch is going to move as you change your frequency. If you're set to 
fixed mode, then your marker for your frequency moves. So to get into, right now there's no marker displayed on the screen because we're on 3916 and we're displaying between uh, 3.5 and uh, 3550. So we'll just press inside the area that we want to be in. Now we're inside of that uh, displayed uh, set of band edges and as we change frequency our marker moves. It doesn't change our say, uh, display like it would if we were on a center display so that you can scroll from signal to signal and uh, a lot of people like that uh, it, uh, it doesn't basically smear your waterfall across the screen as you move so um, the other question that I've had recently is from someone who's wanting to see their transmitted signal while they transmit so if I was to take the mic right now and transmit uh, let's get to an area where we're in the single sideband part of the band. I'm going to scroll down to 3916. We're set to a very low power and we're into a dummy load so we're not going to interfere with anybody. Kilo Delta 5, Tango Kilo, Romeo testing. My uh, transmitted signal didn't show. Now if we change our mode to center mode, we're still on 3916, we're on 2.5 plus minus, if I transmit you'll see my signal in the waterfall. Kilo, Delta, 5, Tango, Kilo, Romeo, testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that works in whichever span that you're in. Kilo, Delta, 5, Tango, Kilo, Romeo, testing. So that's uh, how you set that up. If you're in a situation where you want to see your transmitted signal, and you're in fixed mode, yet you just have to change to uh, center mode to do that. Um, that's pretty much going to cover everything I wanted to talk about on the 7300 for today. Uh, we'll have more videos coming up soon. I did want to say thanks. Uh, we just recently, uh, within the last couple of days, reached 100 subscribers on my channel. I really appreciate uh, everybody that uh, is out there watching these videos, uh, whether you've subscribed or not. Uh, of course, uh, I would prefer if you did subscribe. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to start doing in my videos is um, recommend some other channels that are out there. Uh, today I wanted to go ahead and give a recommendation for the Def Palm. He's got some great uh, electronics repair uh, videos and uh, he just does a lot of really cool stuff. And So I'm going to take uh, a link to his channel and I'm going to put it in the uh, description down below. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to put them uh, in the comment section down below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, and then also, um, if you would, uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button uh, to get uh, notifications when I uh, post future videos. I appreciate uh, everybody that's out there watching, and uh, keep looking out. We'll have more videos out soon. I hope you found this video informative, and have a great day.